Hey guys, we're on a trip to the... Huh? Ice. Ice. Ice, yeah. We're on a trip to the infamous World's Most Dangerous Ferry. I heard it's shut down and the new bridge is open, so I gotta see that new bridge and give you an update on the ferry. Stopping here at one mall. We're gonna pick up some stuff to drink, a couple of snacks for the road because I wanna make a film of the bridge for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. Where are you guys? Show you guys what it looks like. So I'm at the One Mall, one of the biggest supermarkets here on the outskirts of Corzal Town. It's huge, kind of warehouse style. Where'd it go? All right. Yeah, cat car drives crazy. So I gotta pick up a few Coke Zeros and the milk, a milk for you, Maria. Get some juices or whatever the girls want. They've got a great selection here. I know what I want. I want Monster, man. I wonder if they have Zero Sugar Monster. Probably not. Nitro, regular, I think regular monster. I don't think they have big age for I don't think they have big age either. But she does want milk. Yeah. Have I got myself a couple of monsters. And I'll grab a couple of Coke Zeros because I'll probably drink them later. I'm not gonna drink them right now. But to drink later on. I was gonna be prepared, you know. It's getting Christmassy in here. Why not? I'll ask you something. Yeah. Okay, so I Did you look for the milk? Do they have milk? They only have the flavor of soy milk. Soy milk? No, they have they have every milk. Ask one of the workers here. Milk in bags? I gotta have real milk somewhere. Oh, it's pro I bet the milk is frozen. Let me go find out. Hello, do you all sell that milk? Yeah. Yeah? N not like milk like to drink. Like natural milk. Like in the one that come in the box. On the fifth aisle? Okay, thanks. On the fifth aisle, they got milk. I'm thinking that's probably, probably Lala milk or something. I'm one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's probably that boxed. Almond milk, almond milk. Probably boxed. Yeah, it's not cold milk. Huh, they got like Chinese Christmas music or something. I hope that's not copyrighted. I have a strong feeling it is. What she says about the milk? Yeah, all they got like is Lala and stuff like that, right? And that's not cold. Let's look for a bag of chips or something. Oh, we gotta grab a bag of ice. Yeah, you got a good selection here, guys. Look at these sausages and hams. And a lot of running W products. What is that? Ducklings, wow, young ducks. Awesome. Christmas decorations are coming up. But Christmas is coming, man. Christmas is coming to Belize. I think we're probably gonna be in India for Christmas. I think. I'm not sure where, but it's quite possible. So where are the chips? I can't find the chips. Oh, 
I'm gonna take a few cans of these here. Hot and spicy Vienna sausages. And let me take a few cans of these. Do I take like a big chip? Yeah. yeah. Where are the chips? I've been looking for them. I can't find them. So you got these here. Little snack. Hot and spicy. Grace Vienna sausages. Here we got all the chips and stuff. Cookies. Where are the chips? Yeah, go grab what you guys want. I, I don't really eat much, too much chips. Cereals. I don't eat cereal at all. You guys found some? Yeah, find something. Yeah, you guys got a good selection here at One Mall. Hot sauces. A1 steak sauce, soy sauce. Me and Pairing's wish dessert sauce. Yeah, we pretty much need to buy guys and some drinks and we're good to go. It's a big, big place. I usually get in here like once every trip to Belize. I really don't need a lot of stuff, you know. I'm pretty good that way. See, this is the pharmacy section. This here is the alcohol section. See this here? This is what they call bad man. Chipilin rum. That's the bad man. I got bad man colored. I have to buy a bottle and take it for the guy that I saw in the previous video. I promised him a bottle, so I'm gonna buy one and take it. Here you got some of the more top shelf stuff, black label, red label, gold label. Jack Daniels, my favorite fireball. Jägermeister, and they got a good selection. I remember when I used to have my wrestling bar here, I had to either go to Belize City to buy liquor or I had to smuggle it out of the duty free zone which is not allowed but you get good prices it's really cheap in there and you smuggle it out and back in them days it was easy to get away with wines wines and more wines yeah that's what you used to do man had some elaborate smuggling missions never got busted don't do that stuff anymore so here these are Mennonites. Wonder where the girls went. I can't see where the girls went. Where'd they go? Oh there you all are. You guys got everything? Yeah, it's a no plant in chips, so you got other chips? And ice. and ice. Ice, yeah. I guess we tell them and they'll tell us where to get the ice. Okay, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi. Everything, man. One mile supermarket here in, right on the outskirts of course, I'll tell them. See, you got fridge with cold stuff. Okay, yeah, you can get land shark. Velikin in a can. Velikin stout in a can. Land shark in a can. Awesome. Hard salsa, strawberry. Yeah, if you want, yeah. So many s different things that did not exist back in the day. Hello. 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 
Uh, we need a bag of ice. I'm buying Coke Zeros for later tonight. One time. Yep. How much? 55.7. Yeah, it's 40. Yep. Oh, this is coming out. Thank you. For this again. Oh, you come here. I don't need this. No, I didn't. Uh uh. I thought they here they didn't sell the um hubba boba. They sold that a long time. Didn't have what? The hubba boba. Oh, hubba boba. Thank you. All right, guys, we got our supplies. Look at this, Santa Claus. I got fake Christmas trees. Ready for Christmas, look. This one here is 150 US, 300 millis. Got snow on it. Wow, cool, look at that. <laughs> awesome. If you get a little house, you get a little one like that. 80 bucks, please, 40 US. <laughs> awesome. Santa Claus in the tropics, Santa Claus in Belize. They even have the ATM from Belize Bank right there. They got a gas station. And this is it here, one mile. Asian owned, it's an Asian owned supermarket. It's big, it's got everything. It's not fancy and luxurious, it's more warehouse style. But it got what you need. Here's a bag of ice. Should we keep it just in case we need water to, for something? No. We never know? No. Um, no. You should ask those girls if Yasira's working today to next year. Uh huh. Yasira is not working today? Huh? Yasira is not working today, huh? This evening. This evening? At what time? Um, two. 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 Okay. We're going to surprise her. <laughs> okay. I'm go throw the garbage, guys. They got gas, they got diesel, you name it, one mall. So we're off <laughs> to the world's most dangerous ferry. The expats get so crazy when I call it the world's most dangerous ferry. I think I, we need it's one a little joke. More bag of ice. One more bag of ice? Not enough. Look, solo no hizo nada. No, that's not doing nothing. No. Let me go get another bag. The expats go so crazy when I call it. I want monster, yeah. They go so crazy when I call the world's most dangerous ferry. It's funny. It is funny. It's a joke, guys. It's a catchy title. I need one more bag of ice. How much? 150? Alright. I don't need a bag for a bag guys. One, two, 
tidak lah I don't need receipt either Thank you No No Yeah No I don't have but I don't need Yeah we gotta get another bag guys Because that was pretty small Yeah Oh it's locked It locked Oh right here Oh okay Oh yeah All the ice in the world Santa Claus is busy Santa Claus is coming to town Let me break this ice on something Yeah guys, I'm having fun I call it world's most dangerous ferry Relax. Take it light. Here you go. Yeah, leave me a monster out. Yeah, yeah your monster is also. Yeah. So guys, we're off to the ferry and I heard now we have a new update. Big new things happening at the new river here in Corza Town. So stay tuned. Big things you're gonna see what has happened
jungle and swampy land. Yeah, this is all pretty much swampy land around here. So in a little while we'll be at the New River. And I'll show you the updates. Stay tuned. This part of the road I'm supposed to drive on but I'll stay on this side here see here it's all concrete look at that the government of Belize is doing a great job it's gonna be nice they're not gonna have to worry about the flooding and it's nice and high so this is similar like the road that they're doing for secret beach in yeah yeah, going to Secret same Beach thing. in San Pedro has the same kind of road like this. Yeah. Gonna be great. Guys, I am here at the so-called world's most dangerous ferry that has been replaced with a new bridge. But look at this. The bridge is not done yet. People are telling me the bridge is done on, on Facebook. People were swearing at me insulting me telling me all kinds of stuff well look people are still gonna catch a ferry so I'm gonna walk up the bridge I had heard they said the ferry the bridge is open your video is old your video is a lie there's a bridge here but look at this the bridge is not open still a construction zone Still work going on. It's still dirt. All down here is still dirt. It's gonna be a nice bridge when it's done. But this is far, far from done. That one doesn't look like cars are driving over this thing yet. Yeah, people were highly insulted on Facebook when I made the video about the world's most dangerous ferry. Oh, ferry's not dangerous. And your video's out of date because the bridge is done. Here's the proof. The bridge is not done. There's still stuff laying all over. Trash, boards with nails, all kinds of stuff. They probably did a couple of test runs just to see how it goes, but the bridge is not done. It'll take a few months more, I think. But it's looking good compared to last time I came up here. It's looking really good. I hope the wind doesn't affect this video. It's pretty windy up here. So here's the bridge. Here's cemented already. If you look at my last video, I couldn't even walk across it here because it was still pretty much open with steel. Wow. Look, here's the new river. There goes the world's most dangerous ferry. Guys, laugh about it. Relax about the world's more dangerous ferry. Relax. <laughs> People get so bent out of shape. Probably say, you know, I'm trying to sell my house across here and this guy writes bad stuff and nobody want to buy. People are going to buy, don't worry. It's a beautiful location. People are gonna buy your house, your property, whatever the heck you're selling. If you look really good, you can see how the ferry is leaning. It is leaning. I love that ferry. But that ferry would not be allowed to operate in North America. But it's a beautiful ferry. I'm gonna miss it. I don't think they should even build a bridge here. I think they should keep the ferry forever because that is the charm of Belize 
having that beautiful ferry you know it slows it down a bit but so what but here we are we're on the bridge man there goes the ferry slowly but surely that's a beauty I'm gonna take a 360 degree photograph right here right now my link is up there check it out yeah guys make sure you check out the video and check out the 360 photo over there people are waving I don't know if they're waving at me or were they waving at me are you or where are you Maria this is nice this is a nice nice bridge they're building here it's it's awesome it's awesome it'll make getting across copper bank sartania all those villages it'll make it so much easier much much easier here they got the belizean flag it's tangled up let me let me fix the flag because it's all tangled up let me fix it so it flies proud and proper yeah the way it's supposed to be look at that guys i'm gonna take one more 360 photograph right here right now because i don't know which one would be best so since my last video there's been a lot of improvements as you can see on the bridge here this here is now i dubbed this belize's newest bridge the name Belize's newest bridge that's what this video I might call this video still not done but it's very very close I don't think it'll take too much longer there goes the ferry gonna sad gonna be sad to see it gone but you know it's done its job for long enough and bad thing is uh, I think it's four guys that work there throughout the day that runs 24 hours a day those guys probably gonna lose a job which is sad for them they work 12 hour shifts two and then two but that's prosperity that down there is the site where the construction I don't know if it's management or workers or what Look at the river. the river. The river is really dark because of all the rain. Because we had tropical storm Sarah coming over Belize and man, it's been raining, pouring rain. See the sky, still a little bit dark. We might get a little bit more rain, but it's looking pretty good right now. That's why we decided to come out here and check it out. I guess these are gonna be light poles. Probably gonna have it lit up at night, which would be nice. This here also, I know what's gonna happen here. This is gonna become a popular fishing spot. You stand here, throw your fishing line down there. Tarpons, you have tarpons and Crevalli Jack, all those things in that river here. You get the, the big catfish, the really, really big ones in there. It's pretty awesome. Good fishing place. Oh look, the ferry unloaded. New vehicles coming in. It's really leaning a lot, look at it. I don't know if you can make it out on camera, but it's leaning. That's a vulture here in Belize. We call them Jankro. Jankro. Jankro the fly. Okay. See, they have to park a little further back because they have to balance the balance so the front of the ferry ramp can get onto land. So they got to balance it. But this is really nice job. Really, really good. 
Belize's newest bridge will be completed. I don't know how long, much longer. They did quite a bit since I was here in, I think it was in September, October, November, two months. Maybe by January, February, they should be done. I like it. Guys, I'm gonna take one more 360 degree photo right here, right now. Check it out. I got my regular Doug P Vlogs Facebook page. And then I have another one which is Doug P Vlogs 360, which is only 360 degree panoramic photos. Check them out and sign up to them. So let me take a picture now. I think I took some awesome 360 degree photos. Please check them out on my Facebook. Doug P Vlogs and Doug P Vlogs 360. It's nothing but 360 degrees. Here is a great place for another one. Where I can hang over the edge and take it. So let me take one more. Well, I hope those 360 degree panoramic photos turn out good. I hope you guys like them. Okay, this is history in the making. History in the making. Do you know how long the people who lived on this side of the river wanted a bridge? A long time. Okay, the ferry works, but the ferry is inconvenient, but the ferry, for me, the ferry has a nostalgia. It has a nostalgia. I don't have to drive it all over all the time because so it's not really an inconvenience. But I love crossing the river on the ferry. It is scary at times because I witnessed an accident on the ferry where people were drinking and one car reversed into another one. And if they would have had a little more power, more speed to it, they could have actually push somebody overboard but it didn't happen luckily nothing happened but they were arguing and yelling and the police had to come because the other car got mashed up and stuff like that but soon it'll be gone but this bridge is not open so whoever says the bridge is open is a lie this bridge is not open look at this no está abierto todavía, but it will be soon enough. Okay, you see these big barriers I got here? This is concrete. You're not gonna be picking that up and moving it. Just like that. And on top of that, I know they did they did do trial runs, but on top of that, you see here hasn't been filled in yet. That has midfield in it. It's still, you know, you gotta be really careful driving over here. And you're not gonna be moving these things. And I'm moving this so you can drive over. But it's getting there, guys. It's getting there. See here, people are waiting for the ferry. And now it's the way that's the way it's gonna be for a few months more. We're parked there with the cyber combi. I might cross the ferry by foot. I'll walk on, get to the other side, just to make a little video and show you guys. Or I might not. I don't know. Because look, I got a lot of water. I can't even get to the ferry without walking through the water. All on the side here is a lot of swamp. And that's causing the water problems. I wish people wouldn't throw the garbage here. That looks terrible. That bridge isn't done yet. You're gonna go up and take a look? Well, that's why we got ducks and everything, not just to come here. All right. Or are we going somewhere else? Nope, that's it. You wanna go? I'm, I'm gonna go over the ferry. I'm gonna go over the ferry by, by foot. With this one, you better go now. Yeah. Because they're gonna go. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I do you can go up there and do your video now. No, I'm not going up there. Why not? You can walk up there. I know I can, but I don't want to. 
Oh. Well, let me go. Let me go onto the ferry. I'm gonna walk on. Oh man. I hope it's not too deep. My boots are waterproof. My boots are waterproof, so I'm okay. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with ferry by by foot. This here, Isadora, you want a great burger, Sartaneja Village? They make a super burger. Really, really, really good. See how this thing is leaning, guys? Look at this. You see how it's leaning? This end is down, that end is up, you see that? That means the pontoons on this side here, they're filling with water. That's what's going on. Yeah, here we go. Hey, how things, all right? That's for what? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. We, are, we will be on YouTube. You guys are going to be on YouTube. Yeah, how your name? Uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yeah. So how much longer before we go on bridge? I really don't know. I really don't know when it will open. Uh -huh. The ferry looks like it's lean. Uh, it's leaning a little, Drew. Yeah. Filling with water one side, Drew. Yes. Yes. <coughs> oh, that's your vehicle over there? Yeah, that's my vehicle. Yeah, I just got across by foot. I just got across by foot so I can make a video, take some 360 degree photos. Then I gotta come back again with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Nice boat, your boat? No. No, they, they bring it here because of the bad weather. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Luckily the bad weather is gone. YouTube, YouTube. That's my friend, yeah. Hey, what's up man? How your name? Antonio. Antonio, where you live? Sartania? Oh, right there, you're going that side, go party. Yeah. Alright, good idea. Yeah, see, you see guys, this thing is leaning. I, I should have a level. Hey, how are you? There's a lot of wind out here. I hope it's not affecting the video. Too much wind noise. I should have used the other camera, the other GoPro. It doesn't bother. Here I am on the ramp. Yeah, see there's a car coming over on that side, so I'll be able to get back again. This thing is seriously leaning, guys. If you really look at this, this thing is leaning. Really bad. But it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Wow. Look at this jungle here, mangrove jungle. Awesome. Thick mangrove jungle. Guys, I'm gonna take a few hundred, a few hundred. I'm gonna take a few 360 degree photos right here. I'll post some of them up. I'll post all of them up on Doug P Vlogs 360 and then I'll post one up on Doug P Vlogs and I'll put on some of the other social media sites because you know this is a beautiful place so check them out links are up there well I think this will most likely be my last ever trip on this beautiful ferry historic piece of Belize in the jungles crossing the new river because I'm off to India next. I might be gone for a year, maybe longer. So I don't think I get to get on this ferry again. But look at this.
just awesome. Here you can see the new bridge that's going to be going up. Belize's newest bridge right there. That's a masterpiece. Look at that thing. I like that they planted the Belizean flag on top. They should leave a flag at all times. They should put the flag. That's beautiful when you see that. It's windy here guys. I'm worried about this video having a lot of wind noise. I should have used my GoPro instead of my Insta360. People over there waiting. That's the main problem with this ferry. You know, if you're crossing it regularly, as many people do, you know, there's always that problem of waiting, 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 and on holidays it gets really busy. And sometimes people are partying and they're in a bad mood and tempers flare. Stuff like that happening. Hi. YouTuber, YouTuber. YouTube, yeah, how are you guys doing? Good, good, fine. Doing, yeah, uh, where you guys live? Corza. And Corza, yeah. so you're going that next side, go party when leave it? No, 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 party, doing something here. Oh, going to do, take care of some stuff that progress. Oh, great, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yeah. Yeah, see yourself on the channel. Okay. In about two days, it'll be out. Two, okay, okay. All right. That's Maria, too. Oh, uh, Maria's next Doug, one. Yeah, that's my next one. This is oh. Doug P Vlogs. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we see, the last time we see you, Maria, and you were with Maria. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay okay. okay, okay. I'll give you a card. Oh, Other my nice. channel there. Oh, okay. Yes, we, we see what the other day we see Maria was she was touring Corozal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I made I made a couple of videos of this ferry and I called it the world's most dangerous ferry. Uh, people get vexed with me and they cuss me up on YouTube and Facebook. But uh, it's a joke. It's a good name, right? If I call it oh, the Lee Crooked Ferry, people know where we, where you call the world's most dangerous ferry. Everyone wants to see the world's most dangerous ferry. Okay, okay. You did but, it for, for purpose. Exactly. But okay. people don't have a sense of humor, right? Okay, okay. They get like pissed off and they call me all kind of bad word. And, yeah, okay, but okay, yeah, it's just yeah. fun and games, yeah, right? Okay, okay, yeah. All right. Have fun. Okay, sir. <laughs> Let me show you how these guys are cranking. Hello! Can I say hi to your friends on YouTube? Hi, friends! Hi! So where are you guys going? Sartaneja village. Sartaneja. Yeah. Everybody going to Sartaneja looks like today. Mm. From, from there I'm... Oh, you live in Sartaneja. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Great. And your name? Jemima Flores. Jemima Flores. Mm -hmm. And you miss? Rosa Flores. Rosa Flores. Alright. What do you think about the new bridge? Well, I want to finish fast. Yeah, it's going to be easier for people who live that side, right? Yes. Yeah, this, this is like history, nostalgic, but it's difficult if you go back and forth. Yes. Yeah, and, and it's leaning right now, Drew. Yes. <laughs> it's leaning, it's crooked. I made a video, I made a video, I call it the world's most dangerous ferry. What? And people get vexed with me and start cuss me out and... <laughs> but, you know, if I say the, the Lee Ferry, nobody want, nobody interested in that. You call the world more dangerous ferry, that, that llama atención, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, yeah, <laughs> to check it out and experience yes. it. Okay. Alright, thanks. Okay, bye -bye. So these guys here are hard at work cranking. 12 hours a day, right guys? Yeah, yeah. 12 hours a day. Yeah. Eight when this is, oh eight hours a day eight hours, yeah. oh so you got three shifts yeah, right. three shifts eight hours so when this is gone then what no job uh, we'll be working on the compound oh yeah oh you're still gonna have work yeah, on the compound yeah, work, yeah. oh yeah well that's good yeah. I was worried that when this is gone no more job yeah. cool I got some um, cokes in my van over there yeah when I go back on the other side, I'll go grab a Coke for you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got them in ice right now, so they get cold. They're not cold yet, but by the time we get back. Right now, it's really hard because of the current. Oh, you're going against the current. Oh, and that makes it hard to crank. Yeah, hard. Yeah. Wow. How many cranks it takes to get to the other side? A lot. Somebody said it was 350 cranks. I don't know if it's true. Not really sure. You never really counted it. Yeah, <laughs> no time to count. I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> Eight hours a day, guys, cranking this. It's 24 hours a day. 
the bridge is gonna be nice though. Yeah. I, th I think two, three more months. Was 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 the bridge open for a little while, or not at all? It never opened at all. No, no, I don't see nobody pass. Nobody, you never see nobody pass. Uh, so people, people, I call this the world's most dangerous ferry, and people are cussing me out. And I saw it, I saw you see, it, true, yeah. cussing me out and they vex and. But you know that catchy title, right? I mean, it's a That's joke, right? It is leaning though, which is not too safe. But you know, nothing happened bad yet. Sure. But pe man, people. More famous for that. Exactly, exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It makes it more interesting. Right. If you read, oh, the little ferry will cross the river. Nobody, nobody wants to see that. But world's more dangerous ferry. I have to see what's going on there, right? Yeah. <laughs> this will come out. The video. This video in about two days. Two days. Okay. Yeah. I got one where, for where we can see it? on YouTube. I'll give you I'll give you a, li a link to my channel so you can right. check it out. Yeah, let me give you a card. I got one for today. I'll try edit this one tonight. Okay. And leave me a comment, right? Leave me a comment because the comments it help it help the channel grow. Guys, so they finished, they finished cranking here. Now they're going to unload, unload the ferry. I just got tripped on that wire. There the people go. Bye. There everybody goes. They're all off to Sartanea. And then a new load of people will be coming in. Look at the bridge, it's beautiful, it's majestic, it's it's nice. I love it. Look at the sky. That don't look nice. It's dark. We have a garbage can here. Don't throw garbage in the river, throw garbage in the garbage can. Keep Belize clean. Very, very awesome. So they're gonna load up with a new bunch of cars right now. And then they're gonna take off again. Here's another flag I need to fix. So it flies good. I don't like seeing flags tangled up. Here comes a new load of cars. Look at this thing guys, it's really leaning. It is really leading. Hello. Hi. See, everybody loaded up. Then they gotta balance it out. They gotta balance it out, you know, some to the front. They, this will probably have to go back a little bit. So this front end raises and it can get onto the land there. Most likely. Don't don't listen to me, but I, I just to give my advice what I think will happen, yeah. <laughs> I mentioned them, they start reversing right away. <laughs> you guys know because you cross all the time, Drew? Yes, yes, yes. So what do you guys think about the new bridge? Well, you live you live across here? Yeah. You, you live this side? Or you live that Corzo? Yeah, Corzo. Oh yeah. So you don't cross all the time? Yeah, yeah. two times a week. Oh, two times a week. Oh yeah. The bridge is going to make it easier though. Oh yeah. I'll make it easier. Huh? Yeah, it takes it takes long, especially when you got crowd like Easter and holidays. Every time you come, it's long. Yeah. In the mornings, really? Oh, I cross I cross during hot. Yeah. Oh, in the morning on this side, and then evening on this side. Yeah. Really? Wow. I cross like during Easter and times like that, and man, cars. I, I like two hours in line. Yeah. The only thing that it, the, it's leaning, true? The yeah. ferry here, it's leaning, which... Because the ferry has some water, I think, inside. Yeah, it's leaking. Yeah, it's the pontoons, yeah, the pontoons are leaking. That's why the ferry is like... I made a video, I don't know if you ever saw it, I made a video a while back, I call it World's Most Dangerous Ferry. Oh. Uh, people get vexed with me, I start cussing me out and I tell me all kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people get vexed around, so I mean... <laughs> I thought catch a tile, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well nice meeting you guys. Hey.
So you, you do sales? You go do sales over there? Yeah, sales. Oh yeah, what do you guys sell? You sell clothing. Clothing? Oh yeah, all right. You guys need clothing. Order from these guys, they'll take care of it for you. What? Clothing? What do people need? Everything, anything you want. Great, yeah, that's good, man. You gotta hustle. All right. So the ferry is loaded up and they are heading back to the other side. Heading back over there let me take a 360 photo yeah yeah it, 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 caught, it caught you up and everything yeah right yeah yeah i know that the hard work no daddy breathes me and so yeah. you uh -huh. my driver <laughs> you know, uh -huh. yeah you want to say hi to your family and that hi <laughs> <laughs> come out yes, on the video uh, yeah we did uh, belize yeah Where's belize that? This this ferry, this ferry, the history, this ferry, the history. I, I'm gonna hate to see when you know they are again. I'm gonna hate to see it gone. But but it makes life easier. You know what they should do? And then uh, we complain about we destroy the, the, our art, our yeah. Money. Yeah, yeah. I think they should keep the ferry and then charge like for tourists ten dollars to cross. I go and get a soft drink for you guys. I bring my least soft drink, I got it in the icebox and I bring it to them guys. Take care man. Yes man. Check out the video. Dog yes, Pete Vlogs. Man, I will, I will. Yeah, yeah, probably come out tomorrow the day after. But cut me up on the video. Cut you really want to get cut, you know what I put it? Come on, you want to put it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Alright guys, I told them I'm gonna bring him a coke to drink. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get them guys a coke. Because it should be ice cold. Hey, how are you? Say hi. MIDH. All right. Yeah, the ferryman. Oh, you're the ferryman too. Yeah, I'm a ferryman too, man. So you're gonna, you're gonna start work right now? Yeah, I'm gonna start work right now. All right. Yeah. I'll get you. A, I'll get you a coke also. Okay. Thank I'm getting you, a coke for those guys. Right, thank you. So guys, I bought a few extra cokes for emergency. So I'm gonna take. One for each one of them. There's three of them now. One just showed up for work. I gotta get through the water here. Look, the people are driving off. There's nobody driving on? No, there's only a motorcycle driving on. I gotta get through this water here. Grab me, grab me three Cokes there. I gotta give them guys a Coke. I'm gonna give them a Coke. The ferry guys. Are we not going across? No, we're not going across. Why not? That's why we came. What do you want to do over there? I want to go see if they have corn. Oh, all right. Well, let's drive on to the ferry That's then. That's why we're waiting for you. We didn't wait for you. To well, we're going to drive over the ferry guys. Yeah. I didn't know we were going to drive I over the ferry. from the beginning. Over. All right. You hold down for your life. You did already your video, so I need to do and mine. Film the getting onto the ferry. I don't know how to film with this. It's on already. It's so how I do? I just like that, or yeah. turn it that way? That's looking at you, and then you gotta turn it this way. Okay. Be careful, please. Yeah. I will cross. Wait for me. So guys, we are crossing over the bridge. I mean the ferry. Guys, we, we are on the ferry. Thank you. I'll decide they won't cross the ferry. So we we are here. Yeah, no, this that were the vehicle. Old. So here we are, guys. Let me grab them guys a coke. Yeah. 
Ay, ay, ay. One, two, three. Is there another one further down because that's colder? Yeah, here's a colder one. Put this one back because that's not that cold. They're gonna have to drink Coke Zero because that's all I bought. That's all I drink is Coke Zero. Healthier for them anyway. Here we go. Here we go guys. Alright. One more for my friend there. He's working there. He working too? Yeah, Alright. He lost his uniform. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So they say there's one more. I don't know if that's true or not. That's okay. All right, there you go. Yeah, don't lose your uniform. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys are getting ready to change shift right now and go home and relax now. Where do you guys live? Copper Bank. Oh yeah. Man, I like how they fix up Copper Bank on the, on the lagoon side. Nice with the palapas and the little hammocks and all of that. It's really, really, really good. So here we go guys, we're going over the ferry. There's a motorcycle and there's a cyber combi. That is it. So I'll see you in a little bit. Guys, here we go. Cranking over little by little. If I stand here in the middle, keep really still. Can you see how the lean? There's a lean. It does the trick though, it does the trick. Crosses back and forth all day long. The new bridge, Belize's newest bridge, will replace the world's most dangerous ferry. <laughs> People are gonna lose their mind because I use that word, the world's most dangerous ferry. This is a classic, guys. This is a classic. I'm not talking about the Volkswagen, I'm talking about the ferry. True? <laughs> We're gonna miss this ferry. Oh yes. I, I like talking to the guys and helping yeah, them. Yeah. They're so nice. Uh -huh. And I, I hear the good gossip about the white people from across. <laughs> I always criticize them. So I, you know, they, they paint everything is very nice, colorful. But when they're not on camera, guys, they're another thing. That's a difference. They complain too. about noise. They complain about this. They complain about that. I get pissed off. Belize, Belize, you gotta be. We love Belize. This is my home. I grew up here. I came here at a very young age. I almost never left. I never got out of the country. I just stayed in Belize my whole life. I'm as Belizean as you can get. You know, this is the last trip we will ever drive on the ferry. No, I know. Because we're going to be going to India, and when we get back, the bridge will be done. The ferry will probably be dismantled and everything by then. So, let's enjoy it. Yes, yes. Maybe we should get some beers when we come back here. You guys, you can drink too. <laughs> you guys can't drink, right? No, That's no, no, no. Oh, they can't drink. Okay. No, you can't drink. You don't put it on live. You don't put it here. Don't put it. Here. I like that one. That was funny. Hey, you guys worry sometimes because people go party that side and they come back drunk, true? You yeah, worry about them going over the edge and that? Sometimes they could cause an accident. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Very dangerous. Yeah. dangerous. And, and you know when people are drunk, they don't listen to, to whatever you tell them, they think they're right. So they yeah. want to do their own thing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. they don't want to listen. 
Wow, look, they have I know, we were, we were crossing one time years ago, and that's when I put the name the World's Most Dangerous Ferry because the truck in front reversed uh -huh. and crashed into the car behind it. Yeah, it took the whole mash, bumper. Mash up the bumper, the and then the bumper. people get yeah. pissed, and they're almost catching fight, and police reach, and yeah. the ferry get holed up, and they got like 20 cars to wait for get on the ferry, but the police have to investigate, and yeah, yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Check out my video on YouTube, guys. Yeah. It's the very first one of the world's most Hard dangerous ferry. Like huh? Hardworking. Hardworking, yeah. This is a job cranking. Guys, I, I wanted to ask you guys, right on that side there, they have some nice little red plant, look like a hibisco, but they don't go open. And when the light shine, look like fluorescent. Have you seen them? Uh, right there? Uh -huh. like the I think mango? glow in the dark, esos que están ahí, al left side. Ustedes no lo han visto? When the um, when the ferry lands, run up by land, and then um, you film me. You got you, like this is looking at you, right? You're gonna have to turn it that way. So this side doesn't work. I have that one turned off. I have only this one turned on. Okay. Okay. <sighs> what do you think about the ferry? <laughs> the ferry. I like it. It's good. In the olden days, it was very bad, but right now it's very good. And um, because they have a job, see? So it's sad if not, they won't have a job, but they said they do have a job afterwards. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What do you think about the ferry? <laughs> it's a ferry. Okay. What do you mean to me? I want to go check if they have it with the men in the the here. Not all the way, but they have something here. Yeah. So you're going inside? What? You're getting ready. You're going to Yeah, you touch the screen and then you see. Oh. We have survived. 
We have survived again the Moors most dangerous ferry. Can you believe that? That we didn't die. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're over. Hi. See the loading up again. New bunch of cars going on. Getting ready to travel. You need a ride or you got a ride? Oh, you got a ride? Okay. He's gonna give him a ride to Copper Bank, but he got his vehicle here, so. Let's pick up these hitchhikers. Hitchhikers, you need a ride? Yeah, we do. Please, <laughs> don't leave us here. Oh, man. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I enjoy it. I love crossing that ferry. My last trip over that ferry ever. Gonna be sad. Well, I got one more trip going back, right? But you could say this is the last time I'll ever be on the ferry. It's kind of sad, but that's Probably life. Yeah. See you guys in a bit. We are driving towards Trinush village. And there's no paved road on this side here. We got off the paved and we're on a holy dirt road. But we're not in the rush, so no big thing. Because where are you, Marie, decides she wants to buy corn from the Mennonites? Yeah, I want fresh corn, guys. I am hungry for boiled corn. Let's see if we find any. On a Sunday, hopefully. Oh, on a Sunday, yeah. You probably won't get anything. Yeah, I think they go to church also. Yeah. The road is, the road is bad. The girls might fall into the mud. <laughs> Don't fall out of the door that's open. Yeah, they'll go into that mud. <laughs> wow. We'll have to pick up Perlita or, or Dulce. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the road to Chonush village. And to Little Belize. Little yeah. Belize is the Mennonite community around here. Yes. But today being a Sunday, who knows if they'll be selling corn, right? Maybe it's... They're hardworking people, the Mennonites, so yeah. I think they will have. This is where I bought beans the last time, fresh beans, and they cooked in so little time, guys. They were so good. So we'll get corn now. Yeah, we bought beans here. The guys were actually harvesting the beans, loading it into a big trailer. I bought it right from the trailer. We just scooped it out and just put it in the bag and good to go. And it was great. Yep. The road ain't so great. But the combi's made for stuff like this, you know. It's been raining, that's why. Yeah. It's raining. There's the headquarters right there for the Belize Taiwan thing that is building, upgrading the road going to Sartaneja. That's where the headquarters are. Man, the road is bad. I guess. Rough ride. Chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate. Wow, this road is bad.
it is corn because the corn see the field out there? It looks like yeah. It's all young. I don't know if that's corn. Yeah that's corn. Is that young? I think no that's the beans. <laughs> the other one is beans. That one dry one that's beans. The one before it was corn. The road is bad here guys. Really bad. <laughs> Four people pushing, four by four mode. Wow, did you see that? A wild no. animal. So what? it looked like a tiger or something went from that side to that side. Really? Yeah, you didn't see it? No. Maybe you would get it on the 360. Something went running that way. Something big. Girls, it went that way. Yeah, this this here is beans, see? Yeah, that's beans. That's beans. And the other one is corn. Yeah, that's corn, yeah. The corn been harvested. Look at that. Oh my god, maybe you won't be able to pass there. The car is passed, but it looks scary. If you leave your camera, maybe it will be better. That looks scary! Yeah. I don't like this road. No. I'll go back to the paved road. Here comes some more. Speed bumps, speed bumps made out of dirt. But you know, we're gonna try to get to Little Belize. I don't think they have green corn right now because all the corn patches we driven by, they all look dried out. But we'll find out very soon. They like purple houses around here.
just drove past a, a little grocery store and we're going really slow because the road was really bad and there are a bunch of guys sitting in front of the store and they said look that van looks like a van that's used for kidnapping children robot chicos <laughs> that's what they said this van looks like a kidnapper van or drive with the door open right <laughs> Chunush village. Bomb. Other bump. We're trying to get to Little Belize, but I'm ready to board this mission. The roads are just too bad. I'm not a fan of bad roads, especially if it's vehicle I'm driving. It's ours, you know. The rental it would be different. <laughs> of course, if it breaks, I gotta pay for it. But the main reason I'm stopping is look, look at the cows. Moo! Moo! Hello! Look, they're curious. That's a big bull, look at that big bull. And I'm wearing red. Look at that. Mennonite cows. Sprechen Sie Deutsch! Oh, here comes a truck. Here comes a pickup flying down the road. We're off to Little Belize, guys. In the cyber combi. That's probably a Mennonite pickup, who knows. Yeah, the Mennonite's driving. So that means we're going in the right direction. Follow them. Follow them. It's Mennonites driving. They'll know the road to go. Because we are. We're not lost. We're not exactly where we're going. <laughs> we're not lost, but it feels like. Careful we're... with your foot on the camera. But... Feels like we're never gonna get there. Man. Yes. It doesn't help that the road is so bad. It's not that bad either. It's just that we got used of the nice paved road yeah. and then one of a sudden you get this. Yep. That's right. It's not that bad. Yeah, when you get off the paved road, you know, this is, this feels horrible. Yeah, no, you're coming to Mennonite World, see? Yeah. See the big difference? Yeah. It's like even the sun is shining over there. <laughs> Yeah, I think the entrance to Little Belize is somewhere up ahead here, yeah. That's the entrance to Little Belize. I can pretty much bet they're going to have better roads. This here is the entrance to Little Belize, right here. 
Here's the sign guys. Look at this. Welcome to Little Belize private property speed limit not over 30 miles an hour. And those district it's all houses with fa farms with houses on it so everything is spread apart when you come here you feel like you're in a rural farming community somewhere in the United States or in Canada look at the style of houses and the farms farmhouses Horses. Very different feeling here. We just stopped and asked the pickup that was driving down the road with some Belizean people. And um, they said coming here today, it's a Sunday, everything is shut down. There will be nothing open. They said they came here to see the doctor and they wanted they stopped at a want to stop at the grocery store and buy a snack or something, an ice cream, and they said there's nothing open. Have nothing. Even if they have, they're not gonna sell it to get today is Sunday. So I guess we're gonna turn around, head back to Corazal Town. Get out the Guys, I <laughs> was driving by there. And there were some some kids and I waved at them like that they took off running running and they had a big Rothweiler and the Rothweiler came attacking the vehicle it's crazy so this is the Mennonite country look how beautiful it is you feel like you're actually in a different world here it feels very strange, you know, very, very strange. But that was funny, the little men and I kids, they took off running like we're, we're going to kidnap them or something. They were, they were so scared because they don't see a lot of outsiders here. Yeah, you saw that. That, that was the pit bull. It was a Rothweiler, no? Was it a pit bull? I don't know what it was. A big ass dog. And they went after you guys. Yeah. yeah. I, wa I, I, I waved at the little kid that was standing there. I waved. He took off running. They are hiding from me. There. Yeah, I know. It's like aliens. It's evil because I'm wearing short pants. Oh man, yeah, you look it's so evil. Yeah. <laughs> On a Sunday I'm dress, evil. dress I'm evil. evil. Yes. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is Little Belize. We're getting out of Little Belize. The weather got good again. Look at that. Sunshine is beautiful. But um, yeah, as they told us, somebody told us there were some, some Belizean people in the pickup, we stopped them. And they said, you know, you're not going to buy anything in Little Belize on a Sunday because, you Don't know. Call them Belizean, call them locals. Yeah, local Belizean people. Because Mennonites are Belizeans too, but, exactly. but they're Mennonites. Exactly. Uh, they said, you're not going to get anything on a Sunday because it's the day of worship for them. So forget about buying stuff. But even the sun shines here, guys. The sun is shining again, yeah, which is nice. Look at that. But they've, you could see by the water, they've had a lot of rain. Lots of rain. But the tropical storm, Sarah, it's pretty much gone. It's all going to get better from here. Sarah. Sarah. Or in Spanish, Sarah. Little Belize. We're heading back towards Corzal Town, Belize. First, we got across that world's most dangerous ferry. I don't know how far we are. We're one hour, half an hour. Let's go. What the comina me room?
catch us here at this little restaurant. We are in Chunush village. And all of us want a little snack, so if they get garnachas. Back there, we asked some guys, they said they only sell fried chicken at one place. So if they sell garnachas here, we're gonna buy some garnachas. We're heading back towards Corzal town. I've had enough of bad roads, but we still got a ways to go. Let's see what happens. Nothing for sale at this restaurant because it's Only Sunday. Beer. All they have is beer. Yeah. Um, something you have here on the floor. Look, are you stepping on it? I don't know what it is. Oh, that's the one thing from there. Just put in the glove box. So. We gotta wait till we get to. The green eyes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Beautiful green eyes. So, Chunush Village. Here we go. We are here. But nothing open. No food. They said. No, no food. food. All they have is beer. Yeah. Ah, we don't want to drink no beer. No. Look, it's, the on the floor. Yeah. I still have a monster ice box. I gave away the Coke Zeros. You guys still got juice and have left, no? I think they have. You guys have still stuff to drink? Yeah. So we're good, you know. I'll have a little monster up the road. Gonna head back to the world's most dangerous ferry, cross that and back into Corozal town. I will end the video when I get to the ferry. Because it will be the last time I ever touch that ferry. The last time in my life. So let's see, okay, here we gotta turn this way. That's getting bad Back again. Towards Royal and Cerros, is it? Yeah, yeah. This is the one we came on. It gets really bad. Ow, ow. We are out of that bad road, thank God. Back on the paved highway. Heading back towards the ferry at Corzal Town. I'm really happy about that because that road was, it was just hard on the car, hard on the body, hard on everything. It's rough. This here is good. Up ahead is the Laguna Seca Bridge. That's the waters for Copper Bank Village. They used to have a ferry here also, but they got a bridge. Let me show you from outside. back in beautiful Copper Bank Village and they are cleaning up the beach area getting the grass mowed down getting everything looking nice hey where are gun we come back again yeah getting everything nice and neat again ready for the Garifuna day <laughs> yeah Oh really? You put you put the lights the last time I come I'm coming in uh, September. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need hudut. Yeah, I hear you the expert to make hudut. Yeah. <laughs> Look here, guys. Yeah. Exactly. And down some punta. Look, guys, they put up some solar powered lights here. Brand new solar powered lights. So you could come here at night and it's lit up good and looks pretty everything. I know that's why I tell the people the village council here in Copper Bank they're really doing a good job. Oh yes, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, we, we become 
in September, sometime in September. And the guys made the work on everything, you know? Oh, yes, yes. I forget the name. I take out a video, you probably see it. Yeah, I see it, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, yes, I, yes, I, yes. So we made Tech One Lee Drive, we got a Spanish local, but everything closed because of Sunday. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now we come back, we see, you know, I'm like Tech One Lee Cirques, the Copper Bank, and see usually because. We, every, every store usually works Monday to Saturday, probably. Sundays yeah. have days, I don't know. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. I like how you guys fix up the beach area, it look, oh, yeah. it look good. You look good with the Lee hammocks and all of that, yeah. <laughs> so you're with, you're with the council too? Yes, the vice chairman. Oh, you're the vice chairman. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been talking to one of the next guy. I don't remember the name with the orange shirt. Um, yeah. 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 I, I like how you guys fix up the village. You're doing a good job. Some coffee fishermen bring their boats. Yeah. Running for the the storm. I know, yeah. man. What a pile of rain we get through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, with the new highway and the, and the new bridge that they got, right there one, take oh, off here. Yes, tourism, yes. tourism will take yes, off yes, big yes. time. It'll be good because it's beautiful. Yeah, they bring in the boats to protect them. Luckily, everything, oh, they even dropped the mast. Yep. Luckily, luckily everything gone clear. Everything oh, gone yes, good, yeah. Got yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. We got a huge, huge amount of rain. Huge rain, yes. I know, I mean, crazy rain. Yeah, but everything gone now. It go, it go towards Guatemala now. Oh yes, all around. Yeah. All south going around. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. The peninsula all around. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Look here, guys. They got a fishing boat out here. They brought in the fishing boat because of the storm, the storm that was out there, the Sara. So they brought it and parked it in the lagoon. They brought down the mast. Over there, there's another one. They also dropped the mast on it to protect it from the bad weather because, you know, it was, it was sketchy. The weather was really sketchy. We didn't know whether it was gonna be a really bad tropical storm hitting directly on this area, but it turned a little south and it hit Belize south of Belize city and went in there. Luckily, it never turned into a hurricane. But it was uh, just before, just before hitting hurricane status. Yeah, we were out here in September. Made a village here in Copper Bank. Look at the water, you can see the water level, how high it is. It's really, really, really high from all the rain and the rivers flowing into it. And that's why the water is brown. The water is not clear right now because of that same reason. I'd like to go to that island one day and see what's on there. Probably a lot of snakes. Maybe I better not go. Yeah, so people bring their boats in here. And it's protected, you know, better than out at the open sea. Beautiful. Copper Bank Village. We are back again. The village council here really does a lot of work. Keeping this place looking sharp. They do a good job keeping this waterfront looking excellent all the time. They're always mowing, they're always cleaning. Now they installed solar powered lights. It's great. It is great. It's gonna be a, this place, I'm telling you, this place is going to boom very soon. Once that new bridge is done, Already got a good highway coming in. Things will take off here, guys. Things will really, really take off. Yeah, I got lights at night. You can hang out at light. No more sitting in the dark. Now people could chill out, chill out at night, you know, with yeah, the yeah, yeah. nice solar lights on the poles. Look at that. That's gonna be good, man. No more sitting in the dark, look at that. Solar powered. Copper Bank. Copper Bank is awesome. It is awesome. Wow, they put two more lights back here also. The other thing right now, there's a lot of mud because of, we had some crazy rain guys. Crazy, crazy rain. But hey, you come to Corozal District. Come out to Copper Bank, spend the day. Chill out. 
You got nice palapas to hang out. You got hammocks made out of fishing nets. Yeah. Yeah, para descansar. Está perfecto. Solar powered lights even at night. We uh, can't put it right now. I know, that's uh, what the chair, vice chairman <laughs> tell me. Uh, this and that one. Yeah, oh, you bought two more yeah, over there. Look at that, more, guys, yeah. two more. So, gonna look pretty at night. Yeah, yeah. Get this here or... yeah. all right. Your wife, not your wife? Yeah, that's my wife, yeah. Right. Yeah, they put two more here. Look at this, guys. Two, yeah, yeah, two more here. So, at night, it's not gonna be dark. You could come hang out with your family chill out, overlook the waters, enjoy the breeze, Copper Bank. This is the place, guys. It's really, they're really doing some work here, improving it big time. And they're so nice. Every time we come, they chop us coconuts. Okay, keep clean. Yeah, don't dirty this place. We got garbage cans, another garbage can over there. Big garbage can there. Yeah, keep the place clean. Right now a little muddy from all the rain, but it's gonna dry up. Everything gonna dry up. They're always, always so welcoming. I was ready to um, chop your coconut so you could drink fresh coconut water. What, you guys got coconuts? Yeah. Okay, there, it's fresh coconut right off the tree. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, let me, let me get in the hammock here. Your machete is underneath the back seat. I am enjoying the hammock here. Yeah. I don't need the back seat of the van. You need it? All right. Uh, let me rest a bit. See you in a few seconds. Guys, we had another great time here at Copper Bank Village. We drank some coconuts. They're giving us some coconuts to take home. I mean, Copper Bank, they treat you like family. They treat you like family. I took some 360 degree photos here in the village. I'm gonna put them up here, I have the link. I'm also gonna send it to their Facebook page. Hopefully I can upload it and they can see it in 360 degrees. And if not, I told them to contact me and I'll email it to them. And then they can put it on their Facebook page. Thank you guys for everything. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. It is good, guys. Beautiful place. Thank you guys, I don't have you on camera. Oh, okay, oh yeah, the chairman is gone, so gone. you don't mind being on camera. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, thank you, brother. Thank, thank you, you too. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I take some nice 360 degree photos. I'll try to stick it on the village okay. council okay, Facebook sure. page. And if thanks not, then I'll have to email it to the chairman okay, so that he can put it on. Yeah. All right, thanks guys thanks for everything. Good, good trip. Yeah, good trip. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna head back to the world's most dangerous ferry. <laughs> and, oh, she's using yeah, the bathroom? Come here so that you don't oh, I, I can't look in there anyway. And we shall see you in a little bit. I wanna try the 360 camera driving onto the ferry. See what it's like. From Copper Bank Village. Look, there goes a fishing boat see you in a little bit guys bye bye audio audio yeah I'll get out also I don't need to film I don't want to film no better go quicker
up. All right, thank you. Guys, that's it. We have reached the end of this trip. This is my absolute last time I'll be on this ferry because it won't be existing anymore when we come back. It's been an adventure. It's been fun. It's been great. The new bridge, next time we come in this area, the new bridge will be the only thing here because this ferry will probably be pulled out of the water and dismantled. I'm sad to see it go. My friend, the world's most dangerous ferry. But it's gone. There's a drone there. Oh wow, cool, there's a drone. Damn. These guys won't be here anymore, so we won't see them cranking the ferry. This is, yeah. This will be the last time I see these guys cranking the ferry. It'll be good, I'm gonna miss it. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna end it here. I gotta give the, the world's most dangerous ferry, I gotta give it a hug because I'm going to miss it. Goodbye, world's most dangerous ferry. I won't see you anymore. <laughs> These guys are gonna be cranking for a few more months, but me, that's the end of it. Bye bye, my good friend. Until the next video, guys. From the ferry that I pissed everybody off with, the world's most dangerous ferry. It's a great ferry, guys. It's a beautiful ferry. Thanks for watching the video. Within a few months, this bridge will be open. Anybody who said the bridge was open, according to the ferry guys, are lying. Thanks for watching. World's most dangerous ferry. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.